Kuling is a very serious player when it comes to the RX-8, and if neglected, it could lead to serious issues that will damage your engine. But if you upgrade it with the right mods, it can bring a massive improvement to the efficiency and lifetime of the engine. All mentioned mods and websites will be linked in the description, so make sure you check them out. And if you're new to this channel and like RX-8 content, then consider subscribing. The factory coolant temperature gauge is very misleading, as it won't start moving off-center until 240 Fahrenheit or 115 Celsius, which is way too late. This could lead to severe engine damage without you even noticing it. To fix this issue, you can install aftermarket gauges with sensors like the ones in the Racing Beat kit. This kit is specifically designed for the Series 1 and Series 2 RX-8 and gives you accurate real-time readings on your water temperature, oil temperature and oil pressure, as the stock oil gauge is also there just for show. Next, we have the Koyo Red Performance Radiator. One of the main reasons engine life is short is due to the excess heat produced. Typically, when the radiator starts to fail, it will tend to just slowly clog up with less and less surface area actually shedding heat. So to upgrade and improve the whole cooling process, you can install a Koyo Red radiator, which is designed to replace the OEM one. If you're replacing the radiator, you might as well replace the coolant lines too. The stock rubber hoses can eventually weaken over time, leading to premature failure. So to avoid this, install Racing Beats silicon radiator hoses that have been tested up to 3 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 149 degrees Celsius. But keep in mind that there are non major coolant lines, so most coolant kits you'll see that are three piece obviously aren't sufficient. Coolant additives such as Royal Purple Ice or Motul Mokul are also used to improve heat transfer through the cooling system while providing additional protection against rust, corrosion, and erosion. Moving to the aluminium expansion tank. The weak OEM plastic neck deforms from heat and pressure, reducing the force holding the cap down. This can cause coolant to escape and once coolant is lost, temperatures typically get higher and higher, causing even more coolant loss until the engine begins to overheat. This stronger kit lets you set up a closed cooling system by combining the recovery reservoir with the aluminium tank. Next, we have an upgraded water pump. For the Series 1, you can upgrade to the Remedy water pump from Mesmart or the electric water pump from RX-8 Performance. A performance water pump moves greater quantity of water out of the block quicker, thus improving engine cooling. The additional advantages of an electric water pump can be found on the RX-8 Performance website, so make sure you check it out. The Series 2 OEM water pump is significantly better than the S1, but they are not interchangeable. Next up, a fan cooling kit. This kit triggers the fans to start working sooner than they should, reducing engine heat and making making it work more efficiently. Number 8. Oil cooling fans, or if your budget is big enough, a performance oil cooling kit. Since the oil coolers rely on airflow to cool down, using the oil cooler fan kit with the factory installed oil coolers significantly improves airflow across the oil coolers, lowering oil temperatures and assisting in the reduction of engine operating temperatures. Next up, we have a low temperature thermostat. The benefit is that it will open sooner than the stock thermostat, allowing coolant to flow and cool the engine. In a street car, you're gonna increase wear and get no benefit. In a race car, during low load parts of the track, you allow the cooling system to cool off more so it can cope with higher load sections a bit better. Moving on to hood venting. If done properly, it can significantly aid cooling because it reduces back pressure behind the radiator, making it work more efficiently. Another quick mod is to relocate the front license plate, as it's installed directly on the front grille, restricting airflow to the radiator and intake. And last but not least, we have a proper maintenance of your cooling system. Cooling system flushes are important because they provide fresh coolant and get rid of the old contaminated one which deteriorates with time. It's recommended to flush your cooling system every two years and replace it with Mazda's FL22. And that concludes the list, so if you found it useful give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on more videos just like this.